We're going to start off, we're starting off sunny this morning, and then we're going to see a few clouds roll in into the afternoon. Most of the day is going to be partly cloudy, but then late afternoon, early evening is when we'll start to see that change with the chance of thunderstorms, and it's looking like we'll have a wet night tonight. 81 degrees for our high winds out of the east, 5 to 10 miles an hour. And then tonight, we have a overnight low of 59 degrees. It's looking like showers into the evening, possibly overnight as well. Winds out of the south, 5 to 10 miles an hour. On our radar, not too much activity, but we are starting to see precipitation moving into the southern Idaho panhandle. And we're going to continue to see that start to push north into the inland northwest. It is moving fairly slowly, though, so that's why it's not going to reach us until later this afternoon. As it does move in, it's looking like southeastern Washington into the central Idaho panhandle is where we'll see the best chance of those thunderstorms. The threat is for most of the region, though, bringing potential lightning strikes, possibly some small hail, and then, of course, those heavier downpours. On our 24-hour forecast, you can see this low pressure is what's pushing that precipitation into the inland northwest, where we'll see those thunderstorms possibly and then those showers into the evening. So we do have a two on our impact scale for today and tomorrow. Just light impacts with those thunderstorms and the showers lingering around tonight. Today our highs are going to be into the 80s, 81 in Spokane, 80 degrees in Coeur d'Alene. And then we're going to continue to be into the 80s for the next couple days. Thunderstorms possibly tomorrow afternoon as well. And then thunderstorms maybe on Saturday too. But Saturday we're cooling down quite a bit, 71 degrees. But then as we head into the Memorial Day holiday, we're warming back up and Monday 81 degrees and sunny.